A milestone in the development of unmanned combat system capabilities was achieved with the first airborne launch test of the Switchblade 600, SB-600, loitering munition from an MQ-9A Block 5 platform. The test, held 22nd to 24th July 2025 at the U.S. Army's Yuma Proving Ground, demonstrated the MQ-9A's transformation from a remotely piloted strike aircraft into an integrated long-range launch platform for precision loitering weapons. During the trials, an MQ-9A Reaper released two SB-600s, one training variant carrying inert material and one live munition fitted with a high-explosive anti-tank warhead. After launch from altitude, each munition entered a loitering flight pattern under the control of a tactical operator located closer to the target, confirming a new operating model that combines remote surveillance with decentralized target engagement. The MQ-9A Reaper, developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, Inkerdry GAASI, is a high-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aerial platform designed for ISR and strike missions. With a 20-meter, 66-foot wingspan, an operating ceiling up to 15,240 meters, 50,000 feet, and endurance exceeding 43 hours, the Reaper can sustain persistent surveillance and conduct multi-target missions at long range. The Block 5 variant used in this test features an upgraded power plant, modular payloads, high-speed data links, and enhanced weapons integration capabilities, making it the most capable configuration in the U.S. inventory today. Armed with the SB-600, the MQ-9A can deliver loitering munitions into contested areas without penetrating high-risk air defense zones. Produced by Aerovironment, the SB-600 is a tube-launched tactical loitering munition intended to defeat armored vehicles and hardened positions. It weighs roughly 23 kilograms, 50 pounds, carries dual electro-optical and infrared sensors, an anti-armor warhead, encrypted data links, and autonomous flight capability. Its range is reported at more than 40 kilometers, 25 miles, with up to 40 minutes of loiter time, enabling target detection, real-time surveillance, and precision strike in a single package. The combination of the MQ-9A's sensor suite and range with the SB-600's strike accuracy produces a high-impact striking capability. Tactically, the Reaper functions as a long-range aircraft carrier that deploys loitering munitions into hazardous areas while remaining outside enemy air defense engagement zones. While loitering, the SB-600 provides live video feed and can execute a terminal attack based on real-time targeting data. This airborne launch integration expands the MQ-9A's tactical roles. Beyond traditional configurations that rely on AGM-114 Hellfire missiles and the GBU series of guided bombs, adding loitering munitions offers more flexible, low-signature attack options that can change targets in flight a valuable feature for engaging moving threats or time-sensitive targets. The munitions' ability to observe, wait, and then strike also improves target validation and situational awareness without requiring additional platforms. From a combat effectiveness perspective, this configuration accelerates long-range engagement capabilities particularly in environments affected by electronic warfare, camouflage, or highly mobile adversaries. The capacity to hand off munition control to forward elements, such as ground units or special operations forces, enables real-time synchronization of strikes within a distributed command structure, supporting joint and cross-domain coalition operations. Strategically, airborne launch of the SB-600 reflects an enhancement of layered lethality, 
consistent with the U.S. Department of Defense's Joint All-Domain Command and Control JADC-2 doctrine. Loitering munitions launched from UAS enable faster decision cycles and deeper target penetration in anti-access slash area denial A2 slash AD environments while keeping the launch platform safely outside the fight, reducing risk to high value assets and increasing operational tempo. On logistics and cost, the SB-600 offers a more economical alternative to conventional munitions while maintaining high precision and reducing potential civilian casualties. Its compact size, rapid deployment, and low acoustic and thermal signatures make it well-suited for operations in urban and hybrid environments where large explosive weapons are not always optimal. The success of this test also underscores the MQ-9A's modularity and open architecture. General Atomics continues to evolve the Reaper by adding electronic warfare pods, radar warning receivers, advanced communications relays, and now third-party loitering munition integration, such as the SB-600. Evidence of a design philosophy that facilitates rapid capability expansion. Planned follow-on testing includes simultaneous launches of multiple loitering munitions, more complex long-range operations, and multi-platform control scenarios. Additional validation is being considered at other test facilities, such as Dugway Proving Ground, and in operational environments under U.S. Special Operations Command. These efforts are also seen as supporting Army and Air Force modernization under the Modular Open Systems Approach, MOSA, and the Future Tactical UASFTUAS programs, which emphasize interoperability and autonomous capability. In the face of rapidly changing global threats, the MQ-9A's ability to launch the Switchblade 600 from the air is regarded as a significant leap in unmanned combat capabilities. Expanding long-range strike flexibility, improving survivability in contested airspace, and adding mission dimensions to one of the most operationally proven UAS platforms today.